this module we are jumping into the HTML agility pack selectors. Basically selectors allows you to select HTML node from HTML document. Now the question is what is HTML node? Well in order to understand the HTML nodes let me show you the HTML document. So let's draw the tree structure of this HTML document. We have a root element that is HTML tag and inside this HTML root element we have basically an other tag that is element body and inside this element body we have an other element that is header h1 but if we change the structure of our html document to this one then the tree will definitely be changed suppose we need to add a head tag inside the html document and a paragraph tag inside our body element then our tree structure will become changed we call this element as html nodes in this module, we are going to explore the two different types of HTML selectors. The one is select single node and the other is select nodes. Let's start with the first one. Suppose we want to get the text value of this header one tag. Then we will simply use this select single node. So in order to get the node, we will simply switch back to the Visual Studio and here we just load our document from the file and then we just call the document node which basically gets the root node of the document and then we need to use the select single node which basically selects the first XML node that matches the XPath expression. Now what is XPath? Well XPath will make our life easier because we can easily select the nodes by using the XPath and in order to get the XPath of this header one let's right click on this header and simply select the inspect element and here we go now just right click here and copy xpath then simply switch back to the wheel studio and paste the xpath here in the double quotation then simply store the result in some variable and simply print the result to the console window by using console.writeline all right so we are interested to get the text of this h1 element but if we run this application then you notice that you will not get a text of this h1 element. So in order to get the text of this h1 element, we need to call the inner text property, which basically gets the text between the start and end tags of the HTML element. And if we again run this application, then you will see hello world appears on the screen. Let's change our scenario. What if we don't want a text? Suppose we want to get the href attribute value of the anchor tag or a tag. Then we will need to handle this by another way. So first we need to get the x path of this anchor tag. So we just remove this inner text and simply select the attribute property which is used to get the attributes and then just pass our attribute name here which is href and let's run this again but still we don't get the value of this href attribute so in order to get the value of this href we actually need to call the value property which basically gets and sets the value of the attribute and now let's run this application again and here we go the attribute value is displaying now inside the console application well this is all about select single node. Now we are going to explore the select nodes selector. Now let's assume we have three different anchor tag with different href value and if we want to display all the values inside our console application then we will need to call the select nodes and use the for each loop for iteration. So let's change the code from select single node to select nodes. And just paste your X path inside the double quotes and here we go because this will return a list of anchor tags so we basically needs to implement a for each loop here so let's call a for each loop and here we go now we just need to call the attributes property and just pass the name of the attribute that we want to get and simply select the value property so that we can get the value of this href attribute and just print this via console.writeline. Now let's run the application again 
and now you will see that all the attribute value of href are currently displaying on the console window. So far we have covered the parsers and selectors of HTML agility pack. In the next module we are going to explore the manipulation of HTML agility pack. See you in the next module.